Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Let's play Hearthstone for Kaiserreich. You won an Xbox ass at the uh, Christmas party last night. Oh fuck yeah, dude! I got the um, I got the uh, what? What? what, what I, I have the Series X. I like it a lot. Triumvirate is rejected. Finland's leave. Finland, you pe Finland. Finland, you sack of shit. Look at it. How dare you fail? Okay. Anyways, we don't fuck Finland. We don't need that shit in our lives. You go collapse to Russia, you assholes. Uh, even though Starbucks uh, accepted the counter proposal of the Catholic Work Association, and has proven himself willing to join a triumvirate of with uh, Hughes and Monig. Uh, the plan has been shot down by the uh, front of a younger delegate before it could even be properly initiated. Most of the reasons are uh, named against it, among them a that a triumvirate would conflict with the traditions of the party, uh, which always been led by one leader and not several. And the fact that uh, mostly men leadership would uh, continue to suffer from the unassertive leadership that was a problem under Garand. The Triumvirate post had been rejected. Adam Sturwell, representative of trade unions, friendly with uh, Schleyer, now face off against Bavarian conservatives. Yeah, okay. Horrified by uh, Sturwell's uh, strong standing against Monig, the conservative federalist minded delegates from Bavaria, Alice Lorraine and Lundberg, uh, have made their move as well. The nominated Bavarian finance minister, Fritz Schaffer, a young political uh, firebrand, pious, ca a pious Catholic, and proud Bavarian, with rightist tendencies. So Zentrum seems like it's completely, completely ripping itself apart. Okay, so we have a new... Oh, this is, this is the chairman for Zentrum. Okay. You can now uh, be able to flag one less faction to protect it from conversion. The chairman election is over. The votes have been counted. And the results is shocking. The votes are almost equally split between the three candidates, with uh, Sturwald and Schaffer outpacing the moderate Monig only by a few votes. The worst-case scenario has occurred. Technically, such a result would mean that a second voting round needs to be conducted. However, that will likely result in a uh, more than controversial... Kandir? A direct confrontation between two popular candidates and with both sides have a very high chance of winning. The uh, party board is firmly opposed to that, fearing that a head-to-head -head face-off between the two highly influential wings of the party could tear Zentrum apart. Especially as regionals tend to these play a very pronounced role in this competition. Thus, after lengthy negotiations and a loud protest by the young delegates, Sturtwald, Schaffer, and Monig agreed on a uh, not very uh, glorious compromise uh, solution. An alternate version of the initial triumvirate plan, Sturwald will remain in charge of the parliamentary faction, while the party chairman will uh, be taken over by the shared leadership of moderates and federalist conservatives. Excellent. We have, everyone loves a compromise that nobody's happy with. 35, 37, 139. We are so poor, man. We are so poor. And I have no cards either, which is always great. Give me two more cards. Card freedom perspective because this is a capital. Take you. One thousand. Well, I mean, we thing is we need to kind of take all of them. I don't really have a choice, which is kind of like an issue, because I need the cards to deal with this. Uh, Twelve hundred. Okay, that is enough. So we we dealt with. We are so fucked, man. We are so fucked. Compensation for the Prussian Ostbahn. Uh, okay, for the political power. I mean, I've never, I have, I don't have you even been in positive political power this entire campaign? I don't think so. Oh, and a general strike. Oh, I mean, this seems bad. The violence in Berlin during May Day emboldened both the socialist movements and the employer associations and sharpened attention between them. The Association of German Iron and Steel Industri uh, Industrialists, uh, the most influential employer organization in the Ruhr, chose a policy of confrontation with the working class, refusing negotiation with trade unions. Uh, their worry is that further wage increases, demands by, uh, demanded by steel workers to cope with high inflation, would make the production uncompetitive and spell doom for the industry in a volatile economic environment. With the trade unions in the Ruhr, uh, led by the free trade unions, but also... Uh, involving their liberal and Christian counterparts, terminating the collective agreements to demand a 15... Peffening? I have no idea what the fuck Peffening is. Uh, per hour wage increase, the industrialists responded with a lockout, trying to force the unionists to bend to their will. In a country already suffering from economic plight and social tension, uh, this triggering a cascade effect. Unions across the nation, but especially in the Ruhr, declared their sympathy with the lockdown workers and joined the call for a general strike. Each uh, several representatives in the Reichstag, most notably uh, Max uh, Sadowitz, spoke in favor of the strikers and declared the lockout illegal. Over a million workers had joined the strike by the end of the week. Yeah, okay. Cool. Um, I can look up. 
cool. Yeah, it, it is, this is good. This is fine. We don't, we don't need this. These are still... Fuck, we're actually 50 points off. Are you fucking kidding me, man? You don't even do... None of these... None of these do anything for me. Ah! Okay, can't do anything here. That's fine. All relief cards. We permanently removed... You know how much it sucks when I, I, I spend all of this debt to not even fix the issue? Like, what am I spending all this money on? N nothing, basically. We're, we're just throwing money away for for no reason. Just a bunch of fucking German economists jacking off in the corner. It's like, fucking help me! Somebody! Okay, KPD calls for armed struggle in the Ruhr. Good, yeah, no, that's what I need. Fuck, fuck it, man. The beginning of the general strike in the Ruhr has emboldened the far-less organizations across Germany. On the other hand, they have uh, welcomed the beginning of the strike with a reservation. In the view of the syndicalists and the radical socialists, the KAPD, the KPD, and other far-left parties, the last thing this mass movement should become is a mere battle for workers' rights. That is hopeless concessionism to the bourgeois upper class, uh, which will merely take the revolution more distant rather than make it draw closer. Newspapers such as the Communist... Arbiter Zetyung and the Dai Road Fan have begun calling for the rightist workers to establish dual rule in the Ruhr. Replace the state's organs with worker councils that can manage the day to day affairs, uh, provide leadership to the workers, and eventually replace the state entirely. The Marxist philosopher and one of the leading uh, figures in the uh, Berlin tendency of the KABD, uh, Karl Korcht, uh, called for the refor uh, formation of the proletarian hundreds to defend the brewing workers rising up uh, from any attempts at suppression. Just. 6% of the people, 6% of Germans are like, you know what we need right now? We need a war. We need we need a war ASAP. Okay, French spies caught now sauce Lorraine. When there's smoke, there's fire. And when there's strikes, there's a hand of the French. The uh, Prussian uh, Gemma Police have uh, tracked down a spy ring operating in Essen, which is connected with the Embassy of the Commune of France. It appears that Paris is providing discreet support to radical elements of the Ruhr uh, General Strike in order to prolong its activity and weaken us, or to build up the revolution. Saboteurs and the traitors have rounded up and arrested, and all their known contacts in the left have been investigated for any ties to France. A diplomatic protest has been issued to Paris, and tensions on the border have uh, un understandably grown. Or seems unlikely, however, it's uh, even in the distant future. Okay, give me some more support. It's like, poof. Uh, military fat. What do we do? Is there anything we actually need? Should I be trading units as well? I actually even, I haven't even thought about that at all so far. Medium tank. You know, actually, let's go with more tanks here as well. Infantry division. We have 59 of you. I don't know. Let's just go like. Five on you, two motorized divisions, two medium tanks. Do we even use the light tanks for anything right now? Oh no, there's light tanks and medium tanks in the Panzer Division, so that seems fine. And you know what? Give me some Marines. We'll use these to maybe invade the uh, the British Isles at some point. We'll, we'll kind of have to wait and see on that. Yes, give me 5%... Removal on the debt, please. By the way, how many turns are left on this? I thought it was 10 turns. What the hell does this button do? I have no idea what the fuck this button does. Rhenish and Westphalian sympathy strikes. The spark lit in the Ruhr has now reached the rest of the densely populated and industrial uh, Rhineland Westphalia region. One after another, workers' groups and factories and local trade unions proclaimed their allegiance with the general strike and the members spill into the streets, demanding government intervention in the economy, further expansion of workers' rights, justice for the martyrs in Berlin, Boltmai, and punishment for the businessmen in their legal lockouts in the Ruhr. An article by the mayor of Kolin, Conr uh, Conrad uh, Abenur, has reached the uh, Frankfurter Zittrich in the uh, aftermath, describing that the economic life in a city as well as much of the region has effectively stopped thanks to the strike. Okay, so... May not be targeted by any industrial project decisions. Have I had the option to do any decisions? Oh, wait, there's this thing in here. How long has this been in here? Establish curfews. Look, I have no political power. Curfews. You activate the yellow unions. Curtail distribution of the, of the left-wing newspapers. Get all that shit done. I have no political power to do any of this stuff. Ah! 
Argentinian trade delegation? Yes, Germany, we can be... Or Argentina, we can be friends. No, I would, I would prefer Argentina to be friendly with us. Okay, we've completed our turn here. It looks like the left of Zentrum has joined up with the Social Democrats. Target the left, target the right. So far, I don't think the right... Uh, no, okay, no, the right has taken a DKP, but that's about it. The crisis is important. I've kind of... Uh, didn't see it down there. It, it, it's not great, you know? There's a big crisis. It requires you to press the buttons. I didn't see the buttons. I kind of just forgot that they were there. I'm like fucking Daenerys in Game of Thrones. Protest in Ukraine. Just as our own uh, domestic problems that continue to rise, so do the war most important ally in the East. Hetman uh, Pavlo Skordetsky, uh, who we backed in the early 1918 uh, as our key ally in Ukraine, we face increasing bitter criticism from the exiled Republican opposition. Give him everything he needs. Ukraine's an important uh, ally. It'll determine which route we go. Well, we're gonna we're gonna find out how this goes. Current intensity is at 50 out of 100. The Social Democrats have are supporting the strike, in spite of their traditional hesitation towards using union action for political gains. The uh, AGGB, one of the largest trade union organizations in the empire and an affiliate of the SPD, was closely monitored by the press and the public ever since the beginning of the Ruhr strikes. As the SPD has been seen as an opponent of the uh, Schleicher, get, get out of who's Haitian? Back, back the legitimate Haitian government, sure. Um, as the SPD has seen opposition to Schleicher, their uh, trade union joined forces with the social strikers. Maybe exactly what they need to take down the despised uh, chancellor. The Federation news outlet uh, Die Albrecht answered the questions. Trade unions within the Federation were called to join a strike, though with reservations. Their fight should be for the rights of the workers and for political reforms to so the uh, relationship between the capital and labor, and not the foolish attempts at revolutionary overthrow. Okay. So what are the what are the penalties right now for this? That's 60 out of 100. Black Monday turns complete. Strikes and locks in. I... Can you use the secret Ukraine path? What, what's the... It's, it's... The secret Ukraine path has to do with, like, a prince, right? I remember people telling me about it, but I couldn't tell you off the top of my head what it is. Okay, so we only have, this only draws one card. Let's change the crisis type. It's now a liquidity crisis. We get a bonus off of you. Take this, take this. Cooperate with businesses, please. I guess I'll take you as well. We need more stagnation points here. The Dutch take over Flanders. Netherlands! I don't have time... To deal with your nonsense. But I will absolutely back... I will fucking crush the Dutch. Make no mistake. The winds of the Ruhr General Strike have uh, reached the small yet industrialized Grand Duchy of Luxembourg. One of the most recent additions to the German Empire. Here, Nicholas uh, Beef... Is his name Beaver? Uh, the chairman of the Luxembourg Mine and Metalworks Union. One of the largest trade unions in the Confederation of the Grand Duchy. has pledged himself to the strike. Okay. Dot Netherlands. Oh, declare immediately. The, yeah, can we just immediately declare war on the Dutch? This will be a great distraction for the people, right? This will this this is what the people need. They need a distraction from the ever growing economic crisis. And what's what's better at that than a good old war? Blood on the Rhine. Oh, there's gonna be a lot more blood very very soon, my friends. Don't worry about that. You probably shouldn't. <laughs> I know I shouldn't, but I think it would be a little funny to do. The general strike underway in the Rhineland has claimed its first victims. The police in Essen report that two bodies have been found in the Rhine at night. Both were with several bullet holes. Both of them were identified as actors and organizers of the Metal Workers Union, and a quick investigation by law enforcement had dedu uh, deducted a trail of two faraway activists in the Rhineland. War veterans and extreme youth associated with the Volkshit, the far-right nationalist, savage colonist, and national socialist movements have occasionally cropped up in the news ever since the Weltkrieg. Participating in street clashes and political campaigns in favor of the fringe far-right parties. Though worryingly, they are generally, um, uh, though worrying, they're generally overlooked by post-war governments as a non-threat. 
It appears several of them in essence seeking to take matters into their own hands and prevent uh, Jewish uh, judo syndicalists take over the Reich, assassinate their socialist opponents in the nighttime. Well, no matter what, I guess we'll try to reduce tension somewhat. Okay, get our units in the front lines. Hey, Netherlands. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna send the ultimatum. We're gonna we're gonna go deeper into debt. We're gonna do this. We're fifty. <coughs> You trying to tell me I'm 50 points off on this? I can't do math? Okay. Declare war on the, on the Netherlands. I need to join my war immediately. Thank you. This is what you get for being Dutch. Okay? If I was you, I simply would not have been Dutch. Okay? Move you guys to Amsterdam. Cut through, cut through here. Negative 100% stability. Good! Sh show, show them! Show the people of Germany what it means to, to be German. It means to make rash decisions. That doesn't help you in any way, shape, or form. Okay, get you guys to Amsterdam. I have to declare war on your little puppet state as well. Excellent. Good, good work, team. We're doing it. Can I, can I have like more, can I have like 50 points on this, please? Uh, so six days on you. Hold this up for peace? I mean, it's a little... Kind of hard to say that we're a peaceful country given the, uh, the state that we're in at the... What do we do again? More support for the monarchy? Yeah, let's throw five more points on this. J just for now. The government's decision, uh, to reimburse the families of the victims of the violence in the Ruhr was met with open, loud resistance in the Reichstag chambers. <coughs> Conservative nationalists whipped out into a frenzy, declaring that this is no more than a keto towards national traitors. Uh, the most aggressive uh, voice in the opposition was Magnus von Lechtov, a normal member of the Fatherland Party, one of the heroes of the Battle of Jutland and a close ally of Alfred von Tirpitz. He is infamous across political spectrum for his hardline stance against syndicalism and far-left views. On the parliamentary floor, uh, Lechtov appealed to his and many members of the government's common military background, and declared that for us soldiers, it is important to stand in a united front in association with the secret uh, security police, uh, the residents' armed forces, and the uh, Technical Emergency Act. Show of force. Occupy East Rhineland. You know what? Sure, fuck it, man. Let's let's do that. Okay, we're going to go. There's Amsterdam. Go take the Hague. Fantastic. Fuck you, Netherlands. Okay, Flanders. <coughs> Excuse me. You're mine. Netherlands, you're mine. Dutch is Indies, you're mine. Guess what, Dutch? I got your fucking boats now. Look at us go. Uh, I, I think we submit those demands. Confirm and exit. Okay. The Conservative Coalition continues to scheme. They have taken advantage of the political crisis in the Prussian legislature to open talk with Franz von Papen, leader of the Zetrum delegation in the Prussian House of Representatives, and noted leader of the party's right wing. A reactionary nobleman and veteran of the Weltkrieg, Franz von Papen already fit the ideolog ideological view with the uh, Strasweich Rot and aimed to dissuade any remaining fears about working with the Protestant dominated DVLP. Ulrich von Hassen has made uh, use of his contacts with the Reformed Catholic wing of the party. A uh, negotiation between Papen and Martin Spott were successful, and Papen pledged loyalty not just uh, for himself, but also his allies in Bavaria and other Southern Catholic states. So, yeah, I mean, that's not, that's not good. One day, the right has joined up with the other right-wing factions. The Guelph Party has joined up with you. And we want to go left and Zentrum Center. Center. Now, I think if you do hit, I mean, if the LVP, the right wing, the LVP su supports the Democratic Union, I think we do get displaced. We are negative 221 political power. But look at this. We are active. <coughs> we are actively gaining it. Okay. We have that going for us. Uh, aside from that, what do we have in here? Fate of Flanders. Yes. Let's recreate Belgium. Hell yeah. We could an annex everything we can. Annex Limburg. Give Weschlat to Belgium and liberate the rest. Fuck you, Netherlands. 
Indonesia. Do I liberate it or do I give it to Germany's Asia? I think I liberate because it, it's going to. But the problem is, if I give it to Germany's Asia, it's going to be a claim and not a core. So we're going to release into Lindy because it's going to be core states. They should be stronger this way. So, Karno, welcome to the Reich's Pact. I hope you have a great stay. Also, I do own Dunkirk, which I find kind of funny. Zeno, Kuh, and Bulgaria, that's okay. Not going to worry about that too much. Fate of Papua New Guinea. Uh, give that to... Did they get a core? No, it's not a core. It's a claim. And I, do, I think it's, I, do, like, I don't want claims. Give this to Belgium. Congratulations, Belgium. Um, the Indochina uh, debate. The recent outbreak of the Indochina revolt has led to heated discussions in the Reichstag and on the other side of the globe after a project for direct military intervention, the colony was put on the floor. While most parties agreed that abandonment of the colony was entirely out of the question, a stale uh, aftertaste remains as one painful question has been raised in the debate. Why did Germany expand to the Far East in 1919 in the first place? For the first time in years, it seems as if the Parliament had come to an agreement for once. Namely, that the acquisition of the French colonies outside of Africa has been barely had any benefits for Germany. Representatives of the SPD argue that colonialism should serve the purpose of uh, civilization, which is already hardly the case in Africa, uh, but it certainly is not in Asia, where corrupt colonial authorities continue to uh, the exploitative legacy of the French and the British. Um, delegates from the Rustad Party complain that the fact that despite Indochina being initially intended as a replacement for far-reaching reparation payments, all it has done in recent years is burn money en masse, therefore contributing to the economic dilemma Germany finds itself in. Even the DVLP reluctantly admits that the acquisition of Indochina has made Germany vulnerable, as it is uh, exposed to her eastern flank to the expansion of Japanese, uh, which worsened the uh, so-called encirclement of Germany on the global stage, just like in the decades prior to the Weltkrieg. In the end, Germany is not uh, that different from France and the British Empire, so the Weltkrieg it repeats the same mistakes as its predecessors. And to the chagrin of many parliamentarians, uh, however, never any discussion remain only that, discussions. It will be a task for brave uh, troops in the east uh, to put an end to the rebellion as quickly as possible, and plan to reinforce uh, the forces in the and plans to reinforce the forces in the colonies was ultimately adopted by the Reichstag. Excellent. So, national folk, what the what can I do? Stability minus five percent. Dude, we're already at negative fifty one. Relief card twenty five twenty five. Negative four percent of debt. You know, give me a negative six percent of debt. That seems okay. Hi, Anthony. The Kaiserreich Dev Team is fans of you. So source meat. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I mean, I, it would be a little. It would be a little sad if they all. If everyone hated me. I'm like, can you believe this fucking dickbag? He's playing our mod. What an asshole. What a piece of shit. <laughs> okay. Um. You guys don't do anything. I'm fucking... I'm 50 points off the stagnation modifier here. And I don't... I had to draw one card. And that card doesn't help me! God... <laughs> <laughs> um... Where's that thing about... Germany's Asia? Establish the intervention force. We need 2,000 guns. I don't have guns, man. Anyways. Uh, it's gonna be a good time for us to end this episode.